Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. May God bless you, keep you, lead you in the path of salvation and the way of righteousness. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all doing blessed. Well, here is the message from God um, telling you about length of days and that um, to tell you like why some young people die young, you know, why some youth die young and why like some really deceitful people die young and you know how as if you've been watching this channel you've learned that proverbs is a book about cause and effect the out the consequences and the outcome it tells you the cause it tells you the effect and tells you the outcome it tells you the consequence and the punishment for what do you do whatever it is you're doing right so basically God wants to talk about bloody and deceitful men. So people who are bloodthirsty and people who are deceitful. And he wants me to read the definition of deceit because people are deceitful every day and they don't know that they get their length of days cut in half for being deceitful. So when people think they get one up on you, they really never, they don't get one up on you is what I'm trying to tell you, is what God's trying to show you because God saw what they were doing. God heard what they were doing, and he cut their time, their length of days right in half. And um, he wants you to know, like, when you see, like, gang members and youth who doing things that they shouldn't be doing, they got a lot of bodies on them and things, and you see them die young because they were living bloody and deceitful, and they, and, and they don't know the age that God written for them to die, right? But in their free will... They were being bloody and deceitful. So the time that the age that God written for them to die at, he cut it in half. So say they were supposed to die at 60. He cuts it to 30. And he wants me to explain this and um, to read the definition of deceitful. Because a lot of people are deceitful. And they didn't cut their length of days right in half. Thinking that they got one up on you. Like they got one up on your top. You know. So like let's get get to it. Now, it's Psalms 5 and 6. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will arbor the bloody and deceitful men. And then if we go down here to Proverbs, I mean, sorry, Psalms 55 and 23. But thou, O God, shall bring them down into a pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. So what is a bloody and deceitful man? What is a bloody man? What is a deceitful man? But he wants me to read deceit because a lot of people have got their time cut in half because they think they're getting one up on you. Being as deceitful is being a manipulator. Being a narcissist, what people call narcissistic characteristics. But here is deceitful. This is how people get their length of days, their time that God gave them to live, cut right in half. Deception. Double dealing. Fraud. Cheating, trickery, duping, hoodwinking. You know, someone trying to get over on you. Craft, dissembly, dissimulation, gill. Remember, the first fruits have no gill in their mouth, right? Pretends, lying. So they thought that they were, you know, manipulating you. They were lying on you. They were getting one over on you. They were defrauding you, but they weren't. Swindle. Swindling, right? Swindle, right? String along, fake, hoax, being a hypocrite. So if people thought that they tricked you out of something, use trickery on you. See, it's even here, trickery, bluff, lying, pretense. You know what I mean? Fraud. So underhandedness. So if anybody thought that they were getting one up on you, in manipulating you, in deceiving you, in getting one up on you. Treachery. Here it is. Treachery. They really got one up on their cells. Scam. Lurk. They're being deceitful. Those are things being sh a sham. Blind. Blinding someone from the truth. All of that is being deceitful. They cut their time right in half. Why do you think a lot of these celebrities young, die young? Because the things that they're showing the people is deceit. 
do you think it's for no reason they cut their length of days in half and god wants you to know if you're going around being deceitful to people doing things behind people's back being treacherous being treacherous and you think he didn't see you he cut your time right in half what's treachery betrayal so you think you going around betraying people being disloyal to people pretentious and and god never saw you lying on people defrauding people embezzling from people all that stuff is being deceitful and he cut your length of days right in that say you're supposed to go at 100 he cut that to 50 so don't ever think anybody got one over on you don't ever, ever think anybody pulled the wool over your eyes they did that to their self they did that to their own life and that's what God wants you to know that bloody was it but thou, O God, shall bring them down in a pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in thee. Remember, you have length of days. Your life, God, gives you length of days. So we go right here. Length of days, right? Your length of days. So your length of days, which is your lifetime, cut in half. But the ancient is window, wisdom and in, and in length of days understanding. But these people's length of days for them to understand was cut in half. That's why they didn't have any understanding to do good. Who does, who knows better does better. Proverbs 3 and 2. For length of days and long life and peace shall he add to it. Now Psalms 21 and 4. He asked life of thee and thou gavest it to him. Even length of days forever and ever. But... Why are people's length of days cut in half when they're bloody and deceitful? So this is the message from God. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. And nobody got one up on you. He saw them and he judged them. Stay blessed, beautiful people.